finally, she's doing a traditional craft. Something that, you know, that I can embrace and appreciate. You know, I still, I don't do anything myself, but it's something I might actually pay somebody else to do for me. It's kind of cute. Anyway, um, today we're going to check out her punch needle progress, painting progress, um, scratch art progress. It's a progress video. Progress report. Okay, I need to get downstairs, but I just wanted to quickly show you the punch needle progress. Now, I took the original pattern and I substitute, substituted out <clears throat> my colors. Instead of, you know, the blues and cranberry, <clears throat> I used more of the, you know, teals and fuchsia and plum. That looks pretty close. Maybe a little more purpley than that. And actually that color, when we looked it up, it's actually gray. To me, that looks purple. So anyway, here is the back side. So this is the back. And I did just this little section last night. And then on the front, I've decided that these colors are too too close together. If you can see <clears throat> the plum background and the pink I chose, they're too similar. So I am going to tear this out and I am replacing for these flowers. <clears throat> Excuse me. The color that I had for the the lighter color, I'm going to now make that the darker color. And then for the highlights on the tips of the petals, I'm going to go with this color. So all I need to do is pull out this and this. I think the yellow is fine. These colors are very similar, but I think that's okay. I've got three three shades of petting it of this kind of teal and on the original you know the leaves were green and then the ribbon was blue well I wanted teal and green so I've got the darkest shade and then the lighter I think it'll be okay if it's not I can always tear that out and replace that so that's how far I got. So I figured before I go tearing things out, I would show it to you and then show you how easy it is to tear it out. So let's see here. This uh, right in here, all you really got to do is just grab a hold of the loop. It's gone. And then same thing with this. Now there's probably several starts and stops in there. There we go. See how easy that is to pull out your mistake? It's so much easier than counting hostage. There, now it's all gone. All gone and now I can replace it with the new color that I prefer 
Let's see. Okay, so I'll just repunch that flower. Try out my new selections. And then same thing with the ribbon, get it all so I can kind of see how it all looks. And then if I want to substitute anything out, I could do it at that time before I continue going. But yeah, loving it. It's fun. It's easy. It's a good time. A good time is being had by all. So I'll, I'll be working on this again tonight. And then at some point when I have some time, I'll you know show you how I'm doing it. For those of you who've never done it before. But it's like super easy. Fun. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. I replaced the colors and repunched that. Again, I'm just learning, so, you know, not perfect, but I think that shows up much better than it did with my first choices. So, keep going! Well, good morning! Hi, everybody! So, so, you coming? Come on. Um, it is Thursday, January 31st. And I am up and perky and I have, you know, 40, 50 minutes until I start work. So, where to go? Where to go? What to do? What to do? Okay. Oh my gosh, I have so much more energy. It's wonderful. And here's my progress from last night. What is that? Why is that in there? Oh, I was tweaking stuff. Um, this is the back. That's the front. It's like a little tiny rug so much fun to do um but that's how far i've gotten on that but that's not why we're here this morning this morning <clears throat> we are going to i know i've got a mess i'm sorry. i'm sorry i know 99 percent of you don't care about the mess we're going to try this again. So, 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 rather than farting with the boxes, what I'm going to do is, um, this was in something, a uh, piece of cardboard, not, uh, not regular corrugated cardboard. You know what I mean. It's just cardstock, kind of. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to practice on this. I'm going to, I'm going to. <clears throat> We're going to try the scratch art again on this. Make sure it works before we start effing up the boxes. So, step one, I'm going to just paint a random pattern on this. Not going to spend a lot of time because, again, it's a prototype. Let me get you on the tripod. Here we go. Not like any true hoarder. I have the packing paper left over from all these boxes I get. Or I can put down a cardboard box. I'm going to just do this. And... Oops. My craft paints. my brushes.
What else do I want? So that's good. I don't know about you guys, but our Chinese takeout has these nice little trays. Yeah, I'm kind of old in here, but let's see. Actually, I'm going to do just like I did the first time. I'm going to use my teal, which matches my walls, as like the background, and then brighter colors on top. I'm just going to put it in here. I want it to soak through the paper. There we go. And... I enjoyed watching Jennifer Roberts live. Soon to change her name to um, DP Addiction Adventures with Jennifer Roberts. That was always, is always a good time. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so that one's done. And let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I've only been awake for a couple of minutes, but I... Um, just wanted to be able to get some stuff done because I've been kind of out of commission for days. So let's just kind of, doesn't matter because it's going to be just kind of peeking through from whatever I scratch on top. So, however, my brain does require symmetry for whatever reason. And it is just a test, so I'm not going to worry too terribly much about it. Um, oh, and Jennifer was also bringing up the idea of the Diamond Painting Retreat. She had um, tried to put something together for this summer a while back, and then, yeah, things kind of, life hit all of us, kind of at the same time and I think it all went on the back burner but I think that that would be so much fun um, she was saying you know she's organized many um, events for big groups so she has a lot of experience in it but you know we all need to budget for things like that so um, she was thinking probably being able to put something together for 2020, um, which I think would be great for a lot of us who need to really save up for something like that. But I think it would be so much fun to have some sort of retreat. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and... Just kind of go. And let's do a little silver. really runny.
can't do with that little mess there. There we go. Okay. And let's see what else. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. See, I can't. I can't do two things. Oh, we were getting a lot of th free therapy from Jennifer last night. And one of her topics was multitasking. I kind of stopped saying it, but early videos, I would always, not always, frequently would say multitasking is the devil. Um, but yeah, she was talking about how, well, just watch her live video from January. 30th, and you'll see what I'm talking about, <clears throat> which she's referring to with multitasking. Because I can't do it. Let's see. Oh, I do have a little tiny brush here. Yeah, Jasmine, you tell them. Let's see here. Exactly. I concur. <clears throat> All right. And a little bit of this. Okay, right in the middle. Yeah, I know. It didn't really. That silver was way too watery. Not digging it. Okay, we'll just kind of get rid of it. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> like a kid did it. <laughs> Never claim to be an artist, guys. Alrighty. Smear it around, cover the rest around the edges so that if it does turn out cool, it's at least all the way to the edge. Not a lot of green showing, I might have to put a little more down. Let's see here. Jasmine, quit the grumbling. Jasmine. Quit being such a biatch. just to get a little bit darker colors. aware recently of just how often I'm clearing my throat. Jeez, that's annoying. Right. We are going to have to let this dry. 
because there's no way I'm going to get all this done in the next half an hour before I got to start work. So, let's see here. One more purple. Over here. Okay, and we definitely need more green. I just got colors everywhere here. There we go. Let's see. good. <clears throat> I mean, not good as in appealing. <laughs> I mean, good as in enough already. Okay. You know what it's starting to remind me of is peacock feathers. Subconsciously. I don't know. What did I do? What have I done? I do still want red there, I think. Okay. <clears throat> that is hideous. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just trying to um, knock down the thick parts of paint, hoping it'll dry so that I can do another um, step yet today. Rather than turning this into like a 12 year project. <clears throat> I'm still at this dot in the middle. Okay. Little of that and a little blue. I just can't seem to decide what I want to do in the middle here. And good enough. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. And today's mission is to put all of this on one video instead of over the course of several days. So there we go. That took me, what, 15 minutes. And I did a lot of farting around. So we will let that dry and we'll come back to it. Because it is now 7.55. I got my morning routine to do. Okay. See you soon. Sounded like a prepubescent boy there. See you soon. All right, I missed a couple, I missed, I missed one day of painting progress, so this is days eight and nine. Don't get me in it, okay? I won't. So he finished all that up there. And he's got this done down here. And... down to the ground not getting you in it and all the way up there done so the second story on the outside is done he still has to do inside the porch up there that's that porch off our bedroom and then the inside of this porch and I believe we're doing what are we doing here the this wall is going to be the light don't know. He doesn't know. He's he's working. Okay. 
So that's days eight and nine progress. Okay. He's crabby. He's tired, it's cold out. He's sick of painting. But I think Quinn's coming home from college on Friday night. I think today's Thursday. So tomorrow night, and they're gonna go fishing on Saturday. Oh, that was another thing. Jennifer Roberts um, had a, I was behind on her videos. So I watched one from, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. And it was about um, self-care. Loved it. And how important it is to take care of yourself. Because if you burn yourself out, you're useless to everybody and yourself. So, all of you who work on yourselves to the bone, like my husband, um, he is going fishing. You know, every weekend or every other weekend, he takes a day and goes fishing in the morning for a few hours. <clears throat> it's very important to do something to recharge your batteries. Um, and of course we can't all afford to be buying, you know, like the super relaxing diamond art club paintings and all the stuff or buying anything. Um, but if you're a crafter, you probably got stuff laying around in your closet to come up with your own no cost craft. And of course, you know, I did have the help of Jackie sending me the tempera paint to try it but you know look around yarn paints whatever just do something soothing and recharge your batteries all right i've got 11 minutes time to get on the phone while i'm thinking about it i wanted to show you um where i left off that one time where i just said i'm gonna start over so here are the colors that the pattern called for. A couple shades of blue, a seafoam green, some rusty reds, some golds, and then this in reality is like a dark gray. But I wanted to match, you know, my room, which is, you know, tealish and purple and blah blah blah. So they've got this pattern with a key with the original DMC colors. Now, where I started <clears throat> was by looking at my chart. And the first time I opened it, I had the flap. I didn't notice the flap was down. So I started here and then thought, well, what difference does it make? Because I'm not going to spend any money. I'm going to use what I've got because that's how I roll. So you could go through here, pick out your DMC colors, get the code, and go buy the floss. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm going to do. So what I did was I went into my leftover storage. Um, my mom was a cross-stitcher. I was a cross-stitcher. When she passed away, I inherited all of her supplies and combined hers and mine. So I do have a lot of stuff jumbled up and messed up, but I think I combined everything pretty much in here. Because I've got the ecru at the beginning, or the blanc, and it goes all the way up to 3,300. No, there's 38s. That one's in the wrong spot. 38. So I believe that the whole array of what I have is here, other than what's kitted up for other projects. And I've got some stuff kitted. Like this. And I don't know what this project is. I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's the mermaid I did, but I'm not sure. Because there's an awful lot left over, like entire skeins. Or it might be 
the one I'm working on right now, the seaside beach scene. I don't know. But anyway, I looked through here and I looked through here to find what I wanted because I kind of knew in my mind I wanted a plum background to match the plum on my stencil. It looks more of a fuchsia in the camera, but it's it's really kind of a, yeah, it looks way more pink on camera, um, but it's more of a plum. So I wanted that to match this. So out of my supplies, I picked out Yeah, a deep plum. Now they even had some different kind of um, specialty thread. This looked kind of like um, a wool almost, but I'm okay with using what I got. So I had two skeins of this. I think I'm going to run out anyway. We'll see. Um, but that substitute B. And then my ribbon, I wanted to be in teal. And you can see there's shading, a light and a dark blue. So I picked two shades of teal. And that was these two. And I didn't worry about the chart or the numbers. I just grabbed... Oh, hey, look, I got a bag of garbage over there. Um, I just grabbed two out of here. So those are my ribbon colors. So I've got my background and my ribbon. Now, I needed the flowers. Those are too rusty for me. I wanted more of a fuchsia. And I showed this where I started with two colors and they weren't showing up against the purple, so I switched out for some that are um, more levels away from the background. And then they've got this kind of yellowy gold. Now the actual DMC color turns out to be gray. I don't know. I have no idea. But I picked a gold and a brighter yellow. Um, that's this thing and the little dots inside of the flowers is the lighter yellow. So I just substituted out those. And then the last thing I needed was the little leaves for the flowers. Now I did these in teal and I didn't want to go some weird thing with greenery. I wanted to keep it green. So I picked a shade of teal just slightly darker than the rest. Barely even noticeable between those two. So I do have a little bit of trouble telling the difference um, when they're on my card. But with this project, you use this special needle, punch needle, and it's not a huge ordeal, but there's a method to, to threading it. So when I've got a color in it, I've been watching her videos, and she says just skip over to the next area and use up what's in there instead of pulling the thread out. So you can see I started skipping around to finish out whatever I had left. Um, but, oops, sorry, I'm trying to get you in there. You can see this color and that color, those are the two different ones. They're not hugely different, but I think it's enough of a difference that it'll be fine. But that's how far I got last night. Now, I don't know, because I'm brand new to this, if I'm putting my punches too close together that I'm using so much more floss than what it called for. Could be, but that's okay. It's not terribly expensive to buy floss. Last time I bought it, you know, it was like, well, when I first started, it was like 25 cents a skein. Then I think it was up to 60 cents last time I bought it. So that tells you how long it's been because I think they're over a buck now. I don't know. But that's what coupons are for, right? Okay. So that's how I substituted out my colors. Okay. Now I really got to get back on the phones. 
more on this later. I remember what I was going to say, and then I distracted myself. So I have these cards, any of you cross-stitchers out there, and I just labeled the letter. I used my leftover labels that I had sticking out of my closet door for what I had, and you can write in pencil. But I was putting these in here for whatever color I still had going, and then I started keeping the needle. using up what was in it, and you separate your threads. There's six in a in a skein, six threads together. For DMC, this is a three thread punch, so you separate it into two groups of three. I'll use up the entire chunk of color. And then, you know, so this is gonna go away, I think, because I'm not gonna have all this shit laying around. I mean, I will, but trying not to, to keep it as neat and tidy as possible. And then I tried to pull too much all at once and made myself a giant knot. And I can't just throw it away. I have to straighten out my knot. Yay. Okay. So that is my little project there. And then, if you've never heard of this before, um, what it's doing is it's punching the floss through one side. And then it creates a little tiny, a little tiny loop, like a, like a rug, kind of, and then back in, and over and over. So you're making like this little tiny Berber carpet. <laughs> um, but it's fun, and um, I'm really enjoying it. And I'll show you how to do all the stuff later. There's better videos out there because I'm just learning, but the basics to see if it's something you're maybe interested in trying. Uh, but yeah, that's why I was bringing up that I kept going with the same color because I decided it was too much of a mess. And then you do have this little teeny tiny. Can you see that even? Let me see here. This is your threader. And I've already lost it like three times. It is the kind of metal that'll stick to a magnet, but I've lost it off my magnet several times. So what I've been doing now to not lose it, I have this little thing for my cross stitch that sits on the edge of the table for my scraps. It's got a magnet and a pin cushion. I just stick it in the pin cushion so that I can see it. Because the other thing is when it's laying down on a flat surface, it's really hard to pick up. But that's what I've been doing, is just poking it into my pin cushion so I can find it and not lose it. Because here it gets brushed off and on the floor and then I'm, yeah. That's my little tip for the day. Stick your threader in a pin cushion. Okay, now I'm really going to go. And I'll be back in four seconds. Okay. Been working on this tonight. And this is how far I got. All right, time for bed. Just a quick little break from the phones. We're having a garage sale. I'm just kidding. He's painting down there. So, off limits. Okay. Back to it. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, overwhelming response so far. I haven't looked at the poll, but people are saying just keep doing what you're doing. I like that. You guys are so understanding. Okay. It's <sighs> my little one minute update. 45 seconds. Bye. So. There's one reason to go swimming in Jan in February, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Good job, honey. Yeah, hey, if you want to do that door. Yeah, I can do that. That would be great. Because I want to roll out the floor and then I don't have, then we don't have to paint around it. Uh-huh. Okay. 
So it looks like I'm painting tonight. In that, uh, in that white bucket there with the towel over it, mm -hmm. are, is, a, is a gallon of the paint and there's brushes in there and stuff if you need them. Okay. Is the floor dry everywhere? Well, there may be drips that are wet. Okay. She's just whining because we're both out here. Yeah, probably not. Okay. I'll take her out the front door. Okay. All right. Good to see you relaxing in the pool, honey. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can say the la I'm the last one to use it. Yeah. So when it's a mess, we'll blame you. Well, Dad was the last one to use it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go take her outside, go potty, and I'll change into some painting clothes. I won't, because I know it's going to get dark and looks like yeah, it's yeah, rain. It's, rain it's going to rain. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, joy. Come on, you got to go potty? Oh, let's go. Let's see here. Um, you go potty, girl? Okay, you just upset because Dad's out there. You don't want to go potty? I I think if it was me, rather than getting in that freezing cold water, I probably would have laid on my belly and painted by looking over. Come on, let's go potty. Come on. Come on. Go potty. Yeah, I would have just laid on my stomach. I'm kind of hoping it starts raining really soon so I don't have to paint because I don't want to paint today. Right, Jazzy? Yeah, you need your bangs cut. Either that or we're going to have to start putting barrettes in your hair again. Oh, so Brian got an estimate today for uh, some neighbor on our street to do their driveway. So he changed his clothes real quick and went over there to give them an estimate, sealing their driveway, I guess. Apparently she already cleaned it, and when he uh, she found out that he did this for a living, she's like, oh, darn, I wish I would have known. I would have had you clean it. So hopefully he'll get that job that, you know, they have a unfounded loyalty to somebody who lives on the same street to hire him to do the driveway. Plus then, you know, with the guaranteed work, you know exactly where they live and when they're home. And, if, you know, you can pound on the door. <laughs> Come fix this. <clears throat> anyway, we're hoping that he gets that job because it's been a long time since he got even a, a call for an estimate. Things have been dead since before Christmas. So that's good news. Hoping, hoping that he gets that. And, uh, you know, not so much even for the little bit of money he might make on that or even just break even, give him a good deal to get the job, but the spreading the word around the street, you know. Oh, your driveway looks good. Who did it? Oh, well, Brian did down there. Here, I'll give you his card. That's how it starts, you know. So that's the hope. Now that people are starting to think about it and with tax refunds coming and stuff, oh, we're going to go poo-poo. Okay, well, let's not, let's not watch that. So, um, let's see, what else? Oh, yay! All happy now. Your bowels are emptied. Right, we're going to brush you today. Finish brushing. I started. Her back is fluffy, but that was during phone calls. So, we got to finish brushing the rest of her. Yep. So I'm hoping after I finish painting the door, it won't be too terribly late. I'll try and do it fairly quickly. Um, then I'll be able to work on something tonight. That's, that's the hope. 
Anyway, so I just thought I'd have a little sit and chat before I change into my painting clothes. It's uh, Friday night, and I don't know, it's a little after five. So, talk to y'all soon. I think it's trending now.